Okay, folks, thanks for coming back. It's time for part two, our paper printing process. In front of you, you have a Cadet 2 made by Bessler. With two hands, you can remove the negative holder. We have our enlarger lights, uh, lens, and aperture. This is the focus knob. Behind that, we have the enlarger knob. Next to that, we have our light switch. Let's flip on and flip off. This is our negative viewer. And here we have our grain fine focus checker. Below that, an easel to hold our photographic paper. It's time to get your negatives. We'll hand you a negative holder and a dried strip. Please hold them by the edge like this. We don't want any fingerprints and they're quite delicate. We're gonna chop the negatives into uh, strips of five, then load those strips of five gently into the negative holder like this. Remember, don't touch the middle, use the edges, be very delicate. All right, now we're in the dark room. It's time to select our favorite image from our negatives. Slide it out gently and load it into the viewfinder that we turn on with a small black button on the bottom. Load your film into the slits and you can see the enlarged images in the viewfinder. Find what you like, give your instructor a thumbs up. With both hands, remove the negative holder Put it on the easel and delicately and holding the edges only we'll take our negative and we'll fit our choice into the negative holder just like this the top half will act like a sandwich and you'll pick it up with both hands again and slide it carefully back and turn on your light switch to shine a light through that negative and focus it using the focus knob if you grab your grain finder you can look through and fine-tune the focus Grains look like this, small dots of light. Once your focus is nice and sharp, call over your instructor and he'll come by to see and give you an estimate on how long your exposure should be. Looks like it's three seconds here. Okay, it's time to ensure that our electronic devices are off and our smartwatches are in our pockets. The screens can ruin a photograph. Let's turn on our safety lights because it's time to go dark. Your teacher will give you a test sheet of photographic paper. Put, place that on the easel and expose it for the amount of time your teacher advised you. Once exposed, we can place in the developer for at least 30 seconds. The image will come through, it's quite spectacular. Next is the stop bath for at least five seconds. After that, our fixer for another 30 seconds. The last take is water, pure and clean, just used to wash off our photograph so it'll last as long as possible. Lights on again. Let your instructor see your results and they will evaluate and check, and hopefully give you two thumbs up. Now time for the real thing. Tell the instructor your time and you will receive your selected size of printing paper. Place the piece of paper properly in the easel and expose for the amount of time given to you by your instructor. Once exposed properly, we're going to place it in the developer for 30 seconds at least. Here you can see a Neil's photograph magically appear. Ah, oh, it's such a great moment. Place in the stop bath for five seconds then. And the fixer for at least 30. After the fixer is the water to clean and remove all those chemicals. Lights on. All right. Once our finished photograph is ready, hand it to an associate and they'll take it from you to dry it on our drying rack. Once your photograph is done, our front desk associate will give you your framed photograph. Well done. <laughs>